This is my Arduino Persistence of Vision uh, device. Uh, it consists of a spinning LED uh, encased in a ping pong ball and the Arduino micro microcontroller uh, modulates the blinking of the LED and this creates all sorts of cool patterns. So I've programmed all of these uh, patterns into the controller and it loops them and uh, displays them like this. So let's have a closer look at how it works. Uh, here is the switch for the motor, so it's just being powered uh, through there. And then on the tip you can see the blinking LED and that is being controlled by this uh, microcontroller inside of there. And that is being powered by a 9 volt battery. You can see right there that red guy. And if I unplug it right here, the LED stops blinking. Uh, so the way this works is the controller sends signals through two wires, or one wire goes into the LED then comes back, and the most difficult uh, part of this whole build was really making that wire connect, because this right here spins, so how do you connect wires between two spinning components? And the way I did that was right here. One wire uh, goes from the microcontroller and is soldered to the side of the motor and that sends electricity to the whole outside of the motor including the shaft of the motor so uh, I just have the second wire that goes to LED attached right here through the middle to the shaft so that's one connection and that is uh, a connection that can spin and the second connection is this wire right here which is held up by this uh, little arm that I have and it is wrapped around so it's exposed and wrapped around this metal cylinder and that metal cylinder is made out of the back of a pencil tip so that metal cylinder is concentric with the shaft of the motor but it doesn't touch it because it's uh, insulated by some hot glue gun. And then I have another wire uh, connected, soldered to the metal cylinder and that goes to the LED. So the two connections that enable uh, the microcontroller to be connected to the LED is one goes to the shaft and the other one is just a loop of wire around a metal cylinder. And the other crucial component of this is that this arm has to be balanced so that it's easy to spin. And that's done by having, uh, so there's the long arm and the ping pong ball, and the other side is a short arm, but a very heavy metal ball. So that allows this to spin easily, and that, so uh, the motor doesn't have to do a lot of work. And then the motor is just connected to this guy, and can be switched on with the switch. And uh, there it is, my first Arduino project.